Dear children, in the previous class, we have studied about the different states of the matter, the types of the solids that is crystalline and amorphous solid, and then the further classification of the crystalline solids depending upon the intermolecular forces. Today we will study about the crystal lattice and the types of the unit cells. Crystal lattice, when we allow the liquid to cool down slowly, the constituent particles of the liquid, they arrange themselves in a very ordered fashion and a crystalline solid is generated. For example, when we cool water, we get ice and ice is a crystalline solid. A crystalline solid is made up of small crystals and the constituent pattern is known as the crystal lattice. Let's see what is a crystal lattice. The arrangement of the particles in a crystalline solid is called the crystalline lattice. A regular three-dimensional arrangement of the points in the space is called a crystal lattice. This is a crystal lattice. Here you can see that the constituent particles are regularly arranged. It is a sodium chloride crystal. Now you can very well see that this is the repeating unit. This unit is repeating itself in the three dimensions and we get this crystal lattice. So we can say that this is a unit cell the basic constituent of a crystal lattice. Let's define unit cell. The smallest unit that shows the pattern of arrangement for all the particles is called the unit cell. That is, it is the smallest portion of the crystal lattice which when repeated in different directions generates the entire lattice. Here in the picture also you can see with the blue shaded portion is a unit cell. It is repeated in three dimensions. We are getting the entire crystal lattice. It resembles this. Now let us study about the unit cells in detail. That is the basic unit of the crystal lattice. This is a unit cell. When it will repeat itself in the three dimensions, we get the entire crystal lattice. These are the corners and this is the edge and these are the faces. Let's count the corners of a unit cell. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6.
the corners that is the eight corners will be occupied and the atoms or the constituent particles will be present at the center of each phase one here here again on these faces and these faces we know that there are six faces and the constituent particle will be present in the center of the each phase so such type of unit cell is known as fcc or phase centered unit cell there is also one another type of unit cell that is known as end centered unit cell this is a special case of fcc you can say that in end centered unit cell the constituent particles are present at the corners and at the center of only one set of phase one set of phase means if the constituent particle is present here then the other will present at the just opposite phase that means here let's see the pictures here you can see that in the simple cubic unit cell the atoms or the constituent particles are present at the corners only in the body centered unit cell you can see the constituent particles at the corners and in addition there is one particle at the center of the body of the unit cell you can see a red ball in between the white balls then in the third that is phase centered unit cell the constituent particles are present at the corners and in addition the constituent particles are present at the center of the each phase that is fcc unit cell seven unit cells there are seven types of unit cells depending upon the dimensions of the edge lengths and the angles between these edges dear children when a unit cell is repeated in the three dimensions we know that we get the entire crystal lattice now here you can see that this is the three dimensional crystal lattice and you see this atom i am just pointing it out this atom is shared by eight unit cells so this atom when shared by eight unit cell so this corner that is the contribution of the corner is 1/8 we must know all these things to calculate the number of the atoms per unit cell now as i have explained you that in a simple unit cell there are atoms only at the corners and each corner is contributing only 1/8 and there are eight corners so in the simple unit cell the total number of atoms will be 1 in case of the body centered unit cell the atoms are present at the corners and there is atom which is present inside the body the atoms at the corners will contribute only 1/8 but the atom which was present inside this unit cell will contribute wholly to this unit cell it will not be shared so the total number of atoms in the body centered unit cell will be 2 let me tell you once again how this one which is inside this body is not shared by anyone is only of this unit cell that one atom plus the atoms which are present at the corners will contribute only 1/8 so 8 corners into 1 by 8 is equals to 1 plus this one so 1 plus 1 is equals to 2 so the total number of atoms in a bcc type unit cell is 2 now fcc unit cell in fcc unit cell the atoms are present at the corners 8 corners 1/8 contribution so one atom plus in fcc the atoms are present at the center of the each phase when we generate the crystal lattice like this the atom at the center of the phase will be shared by two unit cells so six faces half contribution 6 into 1 by 2 is equals to 3 so three contribution by the atoms at the faces and one contribution by the atoms at the corners 3 plus 1 is equals to 4 so in the fcc type of the unit cell 
there are four atoms per unit cell. So dear children, I have explained you the crystal lattice, the lattice points, the unit cells, the parameters of the unit cells and different types of unit cells depending upon the situation of the constituent particles. I am sure everything is clear to you.